Hey, this is Hasib and Kovir. On the screen, you are watching a 3D model of a ship. In fact, this is a Ropex ferry where the vehicles can roll on and roll off, and there are also an arrangement for passengers. Now, we will show that what is inside of the smooth skin that means the structural members. It will start from the bottom and gradually will go to the upward. First, the solid floors. The solid floors is provided in every wave frame and every frame in engine room and pounding region. Uh, this is bottom frames, the bottom frames which is provided in every ordinary frames. Uh, this is this blue one is uh, strut. Uh, a strut. Strut connects the inner bottom and outer bottom. Then the, the bilge bracket. Here the red objects are bilge bracket. There is lightning hole in every bilge bracket. Uh, there is this is center gutter. The center gutter uh, uh, actually bottom gutter. Bottom gutter consists of uh, two members. The red one is center gutter, which is called the backbone of the ship, and the, the side gutters are situated in uh, side of the center gutter, which supports longitudinally. This is uh, wave frame, uh, transverse wave frame. The red one is transverse wave frame, which gives the transverse support. This is wave plate, uh, the <coughs> green mark one, and in every wave plate there is a lightning hole uh, which reduces the weight. This is bulkhead. There is a combination of bulkhead system. Uh, this is there is transverse bulkhead and uh, there is longitudinal bulkhead. The green one is uh, bulkhead stiffeners, uh, which stiffens the bulkhead. This is the uh, the blue one is ordinary frame. Uh, ordinary frame is provided in every frame space. This is side stringer, which gives longitudinal support. Here the red one is side stringers. You can see here the objects are side stringers. Red one object. The mouse cursor indicates the objects. Uh, uh, as the ship is double hull ship, there is an inner hull and an outer hull. Here we are sh uh, showing the inner hull. The uh, the yellow one is inner hull. Yes, this is inner hull. Uh, this is bracket. Brackets uh, transfer the load uh, between two members which are perpendicular to each other. Here the uh, yellow one is brackets. This is this is deck wave. This is deck wave which is uh, situated in uh, every wave frame uh, in deck and uh, this supports transverse in transversely and there is two uh, deck in our ship uh, the inner deck uh, the lower deck is car deck uh, uh, actually vehicle deck and the outer deck is main deck or weather deck Kay. this is web garter uh, which uh, sorry deck garter uh, the blue blue one is deck garter and uh, it supports longitudinally as it is a longitudinal member uh, then uh, another uh, blue uh, transverse members are deck girders which support tra uh, transversely. Web beam, sorry, web beam. Sorry, deck beam, the transverse uh, deck beam actually in every uh, frame spacing. Uh, now we will go to the uh, superstructure. Uh, the superstructure uh, wave frame is uh, here. There is a uh, three layer sequence. Uh, the first, the topmost layer is bridge deck or navigation deck uh, then the second layer is uh, the second layer is cabin deck and the third layer or uh, the lowest layer is passenger deck this is side girder which uh, uh, supports longitudinally this is deck girder you can see here in the red objects and the mouse cur cursor shows the side gar uh, deck girders This is ordinary frame, uh, which is uh, situated in every frame spacing. And uh, now we are returning to the skin. Uh, we are assembling the skin in the ship. Uh, here, the superstructure, bridge deck, uh, inner bottom, outer bottom, deck plating, shell plating. Uh, actually, uh, we made it for uh, weight calculation. Uh, we draw it in Rhino, and uh, for uh, we draw the uh, structural members, and uh, uh, precisely we can. Uh, we can calculate the volume and thus we get the weight of the ship and this weight uh, helps us to find uh, precisely the LCG and VCG of the ship. That's all. Thank you everyone for seeing.